Hey y'all, Chadwick Boyd here. Today I'm cooking with a Cosmic Crisp Apple. It's brand new to grocery stores and you're gonna love it. It is equally tart and sweet, wonderfully juicy, and it's easy to bake with. I'm gonna show you how to make an everyday celebration cake with this whole Cosmic Crisp Apple. So the first step is we wanna poach our apples. I'm simply going to wash the Cosmic Crisp Apples, take a kitchen fork, and I'm gonna prick them about three quarters of an inch deep. This is gonna allow the apples to absorb the poaching liquid and make them buttery soft in the cake. Then I'll make the poaching liquid. I've got water already in my pot. I'll add some apple juice, some granulated sugar, and for flavor, some star anise, and either one vanilla bean or vanilla extract. I'm gonna bring this to a boil, mix it together, and then I'll drop all these apples, cook them in for about 10 minutes until they're done. The apples have been poaching for about five minutes. I'm gonna take a slotted spoon, turn them over and let them poach five minutes more so they're nice and soft. Our apples have been poaching for about 10 minutes and they're nice and soft to the touch. We're gonna to boil our poaching liquid down for about 20 minutes and it'll get nice, thick and golden like this. Now it's time to make the cake batter. The cake is really simple. It's a take on a classic French butter cake and it's just a few ingredients. I've already creamed together butter and sugar and I have my dry mix of flour, baking powder and salt. I'm gonna add some vanilla extract, a little bit of apple juice and an egg. And I'll beat this together until it's nice and fluffy. And then add the eggs one at a time. So the batter will look a little bit loose and shaggy, but when I add the dry ingredients, it'll all come together and look light, buttery, and yellow. So the final step before baking is to fill our batter into a parchment line and butter 10 inch spring form pan and smooth it out just like this. It'll be about an inch thick. And then put our apples into the batter, just gently nestle them in, and just like a clock, fill them into the corners of the pan. We're gonna dust this with a little bit of sugar and bake it at 350 degrees for about an hour and 10 minutes until it comes out clean with a toothpick. Mmm. This just came out of the oven. The butter and the Cosmic Crisp apple smell so delicious. Now it's time for the big finish. Just drizzle this with that thick amber syrup on top and give it a little brush. And then finish it with a little bit more sugar and then it's time to dig in. There we go, the Cosmic Crisp apple everyday celebration cake, easy to make, so delicious. You can find this recipe on CosmicCrisp.com.